The SCA was a descendant of the Local Defence Forces or LDF. The LDF was a voluntary military reserve that comprised of about 100,000 men. Established in 1941, their main duty was to aid the permanent defence forces during the emergency. This is what Ireland referred to World War II as. They were given a semi-military status due to their inconsistency of training and experience from unit to unit. Despite this, they served with distinction and were a valuable asset to the state during the emergency. Jump to the 6th of February 1946 and the FCA, or Forsy Cousin to Autula, came into being. The FCA ran into some teething problems though. While the LDF were allowed to use public buildings such as schools or parish halls for their training, the FCA were not afforded this luxury in some places. Training locations had to be provided by either the FCA unit itself or the army, which took time and money to acquire. Another problem the FCA faced was the interest of some new members, or lack thereof. While some people joined and thoroughly enjoyed their experience, others soon learned that following orders and military discipline wasn't for them, so they didn't return, and this led to the effective strength of the FCA being reduced thanks to non-effective personnel such as these. Despite having some problems, the FCA managed to thrive. It was credited with providing an outlet for young men where they could learn respect, self-discipline and other important military and life skills. The standing strength of the FCA was at its peak of approximately 37,000 members, a number of which would continually decline. Get it out with 303 Lee Enfield rifles and the same Bullswool uniform as their PDF counterparts. The FCA served the communities well and were noted for their participation in parades and guards of honours for dignitaries. It's important to note that while the majority of the FCA was infantry, with 99 infantry battalions, there were also three artillery regiments and smaller units such as engineering, signals and cavalry. Some of these units were under strength however and amalgamated together into a single unit of full strength. Members of the FCA trained once a week, usually during the week. This was called evening parade and they also trained at weekends from time to time. The two-week-long summer camp provided them with an opportunity to practice tactics, marksmanship, or to train recruits or potential NCOs. Few employers were happy to release workers for this period, so many had to take their holiday leave to attend. The men were paid £6 for their attendance, which was fine in the 1950s, but only a token gesture in the 1970s by the time it was changed again. There was also a winter camp laid on for those who couldn't attend summer camp or those who wanted to do some extra training. In 1969, the FCA stepped up to the mark with the outbreak of the Troubles. Ireland's reservists undertook duties in barracks and other installations so as to free up members of the permanent defence forces. The FCA was commended for its members' professionalism and dedication throughout this period, although there were some negatives. Security was clamped down upon at this time. Members could no longer bring their rifles home to store them, a practice common among many countries' reserves, which led to the ordnance being stored in barracks, which in turn made training more mundane for the less urban units, meaning they had to use dummy rifles or no rifles at all for training. Throughout its existence the FCS suffered some problems such as previously mentioned non-effective members. By the 1980s however the FCA was a smaller organisation with 14,848 members. There was also problems with uniforms and equipment. In the 1980s, the Bullswell uniform was replaced by a new parade uniform, which wasn't much good if you're going out on the ground, meaning that members would have to buy their own combat uniform specifically for use on the ground. The FCA's bolt-action Lee-Enfield rifles were also showing their age. These would be replaced by the FNFAL in 1990. Combat uniforms were also introduced this year, along with the first female recruits.
It may be surprising to hear, but the FCA were actually used in Hollywood productions of films such as Braveheart and Saving Private Ryan. About 1,500 FCA men were, and Slough Murray, the Irish Naval Reserve, were used for Braveheart. And then 750 men were used for the film Saving Private Ryan. They were commended for their professionalism and their ease to work with on set. In the latter years of its existence, the FCA would be kitted out with the latest equipment, such as DPM uniforms and Steyr AUG rifles, the same as their PDF counterparts. They still struggled with membership, however, with numbers about 6,000 approaching 2005. In 2005, they were amalgamated into the RDF, or the Reserve Defence Forces, under the single force concept, and the FCA, as we knew it, ceased to be in existence.